solve this problem, you first must draw it on a separate sheet of paper. Although at this point, I will be demonstrating this problem. We'll be using a 9.25 inch ratchet and we'll be applying a perpendicular force like so. Going back to our sheet, we must convert the 9.25 inches into meters. We then have to find the force and use force gravity, which is 9.8 times mass. My mass is 65, and then you multiply that by 9.8 and get 637 newtons. We then apply it to the torque formula, radius times force perpendicular. So it would be torque equals 0.235 times 637, and you get a torque of 149.7 newton meters. In the second part of this problem, we're going to find the torque of the longer ratchet. This ratchet is 16.5 inches long, and we're going to be applying a perpendicular force. We then have to convert the inches into meters, and we're going to be using the same amount of force. We're going to be used, plugging it into the formula, torque equals radius times force perpendicular. It'd be 0 0.4191 times 637, and we will have a torque of 266 0.96 newton meters. What this shows is that with the same amount of force, the longer the radius, the more torque is being applied. 